Hey, hey, my creative friends. It is, um, it is a Wednesday night for me, a Wednesday night. And we are here to talk about creativity. I'm Shannon from Shannon Studio. And um, Joseph was sick. He got up in the middle of the night last night and was sick. No throw up, thank you. Just a really high fever. So he was home today and we just kind of spent the day and he, you know, he sat on my lap and slept and so I kind of felt bad for him, but we didn't really do a whole lot today. Um, but it was relaxing for me, not going places. But I missed out on a lunch with some friends and going to a garden museum. And so I did. Hey, Jess. So I did miss out on a few things today, but it was really relaxing. But I'm really sad he's sick. But it seems to be, seems to be coming out of it a little bit. But today, um, yesterday we talked about bad ideas. And sometimes we follow through on some of our bad ideas or even our good ideas, but we just fail with them. We just fail. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about failure. And, um, you know, I was, I was thinking about my failures and cause I know I've had them and, um, I actually couldn't think of a lot of them and it just made me laugh because I think I think some of the things of how you get over failure, I think I've learned those really well. And so I don't like, I don't catalog them. Um, I do know that um, I did this one um, art fair thing and it just was a disaster. I mean, I, I thought it was gonna be good, but, and it, it there's differences between public disasters and private disasters, <laughs> private failures and public failures. And um, some of the things you feel when you fail, oh, my hair, I didn't like, oh well. Um, some of the things you feel are like shame and embarrassment, um, regret, sometimes anger and just like you wanna give up. Um, you lose confidence in yourself. Um, there's just a lot, a lot of feelings wrapped up in failure and a lot of, uh, and a lot of those feelings aren't the kind of feelings that move you in a positive direction. They, uh, they aren't the ones that build you up necessarily. And so one of the quotes out of the one in the books I, or one of my thoughts was you have to learn about failure. Actually, this is my own thought. You have to learn about failure. You have to know that failure is part of the creative or art making, any kind of making process. It's just a process in life is the, is the fact. I mean, Jesse, I was talking to Jesse, my daughter, and she was saying, you know, when you learn to walk, you, you fall down. I mean, it's not like, oh, I can't walk. I'm not going to ever walk again <laughs> or I'm not going to learn to walk or... I mean, there's there's so many, and and she went so far as is to say everything, um, everything in life you everything you learn in life is through failure. Um, I don't know if I think everything, but dang, there's a lot. There's a lot that we learn through failure, and it, that only it's only that door of failure that opens us up to that path to be able to learn certain lessons. And man, that's a hard thing to do. So when you're being creative and you're being vulnerable and you're getting your own ideas out on paper or, you know, in, in fabric or textiles or in, in writing, well, I guess writing is paper, but, you know, when you start to get your ideas out, they're like little pieces of you out there. And then when you see one of them fall and fail and then another one or another one, it just, it can be a little devastating. Um, which, uh, and, you have to, here's another thing, and I I think I wrote this. It was in my notes, but I'm just going to read it. If, it. if it's somebody else's, I'll find it later. But you learn not to be devastated by it. You understand that not every painting is going to work out. Every sketch doesn't lead to greatness. Some ideas halfway through you know are no good. Some you don't know until you're finished. I mean, I, this must be me that I wrote this because I totally get all of this. Some fail, failures you can fix, some never. You learn to live with it. That's a life lesson. Like I was saying, failure is part of life. 
um, and you can have that little micro um, micro moment of of failure through making art or through making anything. Um, so you have to realize that failure has its function. It has its function. So you can't say, oh, I'm never going to fail or, oh, that's not going to be part of my life or, oh, I can just manifest that away. Um, it's just part of life. And you learn resilience, you learn from it. And if you don't quit, it builds confidence that, oh, pff, I lived through that. I can do this. And really, um, the tip tonight is, is you're going to fail, but don't stop creating. You are the hero's path. The creative hero's path is in not quitting. That's it. As soon as you stop, as soon as you say, I can't, that's when you really fail. Like with a big F. Not the failure with little Fs, but the failure with big F. <laughs> That's when you really fail is when you quit. Um, Seth Godin says, it, it, which is a great, great quote, if failure is not an option, then neither is success. So <laughs> it's just part of the process. So how do we um, learn, how do we get over? How do we get over when we fail, if we know we're going to fail. Hi, Tricia. If we know we're going to fail, how do we get over it? Now, I wrote some tips down, and I'm sure you have some tips, so be sure to share your tips or if, you know, put them in while we're talking about it. But um, one of the things I think that we fail to do is, um, like, mourn it. It can, you can you can be sad about it. You can be, you don't have to be happy all the time. Happy all the time is not the point. It's, you can mourn that you really blew something. It's okay. Um, but I think you have to set time, you have to set a limit um, that's appropriate for the failure. So, you know, if it's a small failure, you know, take a day, take a couple of you know, a couple days. But if it's a small failure and you're you're um, still at it, feeling mourning for it after a month, you might want to say it's time to to second thing, move on, move on, um, live with it. Uh, you know, know that that's just part of something. Another thing is to let it go. Alan, Alan says my husband says this all the you know would say this all the time. Just let it go. For heaven's sakes, let it go. I think that was from Robin Hood, uh, animated Robin Hood. But he would say that all the time. Just let it go. And you know what? You can you can let the failure go. And I think that's why I don't remember a lot of my failures, though I know I have them, and I've just let them go, and so they're not on the mental hard drive, um, because then it just doesn't weigh me down. I know that I've done them, but it's like I've moved on. Um, another thing is to, especially if you're a beginner, which usually most people are beginners, especially if you start a new process, you start a new medium, you're a beginner. So, you know, give yourself a little slack, uh, recognize that. Um, another thing is that it's not permanent. It's, this is not the end of the road. This is not this isn't who you are because you made um, you made uh, something that didn't turn out it's not who you are um then also uh find something new i always get excited by new ideas i don't know what it is maybe you get excited by new ideas i do that is the fastest thing for me to like get out of something it's like get another idea try something new um, and and let that carry you through that little past the morning process. Um, oh, review successes. Review some of your successes. I remember um, my oldest daughter, she was having a hard time and I said, you know what, you need to start writing down what people tell you because people would give her compliments and there was a, some points where she was really down and I said, and then you review those things so so that you can remember because um, it's hard to remember when we're in that place of shame, embarrassment, loss of confidence, um, 
the whole, you know, the, the whole bag of feelings, it's hard to remember that. So review your successes, especially the ones that started out as feeling like failures or that you turned around after you were failing, you turned it around or, you know, review those and, and realize what you've done and what you did to get past them. Um, then it's, remember this, this, another tip is to remember this is just part of the story. This is just part of your story. You are, um, it's just a page in your book. It's just, uh, Stoning your path is just part of it. It's not the whole, it's not your whole life in totality. It's only a moment and oh, a season, you know, not a season. That's not your failures usually don't last that long, but with the ones we're talking about, they just they, sometimes when you're live, you just start going on and it's like, nope, that's not quite right. Um, but it is part of your story, part of your story, and it's unique to you, and you can use that to start telling new stories. Um, so those are the tips I came up with. Share some of the tips you have, and um, here's from Big Magic. Here's a quote: Whatever you do, try not to dwell too long on your fa failures. You don't need to conduct autopsies on your disasters. I thought that was so funny because sometimes we want to get in there and like cut it up and see what it looks like and look through and I've never done an autopsy. I did touch your brain with Jessie once going with her group and that I didn't even like. Um, but yeah, we have that tendency to want to stay there. Maybe it makes us feel safe sometimes that we can kind of be in that place and, and stay there and be protected that we won't be hurt again or we won't fail again. And that does you a disservice. It does you a disservice because you do have great things you can do. You do have, um, you will have moments where you have success. You will. And if you stay in that failure and want to play with it and dissect it and do all those things, you're going to miss the successes. You're going to miss the greatness. You're going to miss the fun. You're going to miss all those things. Failure has its purpose, but it's not, purpose is not to stop you. Just remember, it has its purpose, but its purpose is not to stop you. And you need to stay on your own hero's journey to be able to create and to make and to bring that life and joy into your own life. So that's the tip. Fail, but don't stop. Um, and share your thoughts with us because failure is can be very devastating and, and debilitating. So share thoughts about how you got past it, how you get past it, what you've learned from it, um, and just share with us. I think we, we, like I said, it's part of your story and share your story so we can, we can all be benefited from that. So that's the tip. And remember, you have a creative heartbeat, so listen for it. And I will be back tomorrow. Bye.